Hey, and welcome into Vinny Rotino Baseball Academy. This is the channel where we're breaking down players. We're having you guys send in swings. I give some swing instruction, all free, all on YouTube. Make sure you guys hit subscribe and uh, make sure you're checking out my videos. I love talking baseball. Um, I love just uh, trying to impart any kind of uh, wisdom that I was have been able and lucky enough to to gain over the years of my um, couple of decades now in the game of baseball. So make sure you guys are tuning in uh, today. We are going to be highlighting a player in Southeastern Wisconsin named TJ Williams, probably one of the best two of the, one of the two best players I've ever worked with TJ and Remy sweet um, two players that probably are very unknown and under the radar because they haven't been on one of the bigger circuits um, in the country, uh, these guys have been playing, um, for a very good program, PBA out of Kenosha, but they haven't been able to play for one of the bigger programs, although they very well could, and they very well should. Um, but they're, um, TJ is the guy that I'm going to highlight today. He's going to Heartland community college. He is a shortstop and second baseman. He is a kid who is uh, a player that I think is going to play in the big leagues. I'm very con convicted about that. Um, he's an 80 runner. Okay. So, you don't. these guys don't grow on trees. Um, there's things you can do to improve your arm strength and you can, you know, really get your arm from maybe a 50 arm to a 60 or even a 70 arm nowadays, just because with all the weighted ball programs, but there, <laughs> so there isn't guys though, that can be, that, that can run like TJ can run. 80 runners at, at 17 years old, right? There's a, a little bit of stuff that you can do to maybe improve and maybe improve from a 50 runner to a 55 runner, or maybe a 60 runner, but you don't, you don't just all of a sudden go and become an 80 runner. Um, this kid is that fast. Um, he's the fastest player I've ever worked with. And again, he's one of the best players, one of the two best players I've ever worked with. So I'm um, going to be highlighting TJ today. Again, Racine Horlick, he's going to Heartland, uh, shortstop and second baseman. Uh, he's going to also, I think, be able to play center field in the future. So he'll be able to stay in the middle of the diamond. Middle of the diamond players are ones you want to covet, ones you want to kind of go after if you are a college coach or a pro scout or an amateur scout for a major league team. So again, bright future for TJ Williams. Um, but before we get into his breakdown and kind of take a look at everything, I did want to mention that this channel is brought to you by Maggie Rotino Real Estate. My wife, Maggie, does a phenomenal job with all of her clients. If you on, are in the market to buy or sell a home, make sure you're reaching out to her on social media, reach out to me on social media, and she can help you buy or sell your home. She's also teamed up with her little brother, Ricky Kuiper, who has also done a phenomenal job. Um, and so these, uh, just reach out to them. You can reach out to me as well, and I can hook you up with them. Um, but again, the name in Southeastern Wisconsin for real estate is the Rotino Kuiper group. So, um, let's go ahead and take a look at TJ Williams. I'm going to share the screen here and we are going to take a look at a swing that he made against one of the top prospects in the in the area here for the Racine hitters um, this summer. Single up the middle, again, short, quick, compact, and he shows off the speed out of the box a little bit, but it is, um, this is one of those guys that is just gonna hit and he's not gonna have any problems with swinging and missing. And again, this guy is totally, totally under the radar. Um, so let me go ahead and stop the share. We're going to go ahead and take a look at the swing. Um, I got to go ahead and I did this whole video twice. Now, this is my second time doing it because I got into his video breakdown of his swing and I wasn't uh, sharing the screen. So this time I'm going to do that. Okay. So I got the video of his swing pulled up and let me share. Okay. Okay, here it is. Okay, here we go. So TJ swing, short, compact. He made a little adjustment on his own. I didn't even catch it. Uh, he got a little hip tuck, little hip inward hip turn right there. Very small and subtle. And once he does that, that gets that weight on the inner part of that back heel. So guys, even if you guys aren't interested necessarily in these uh, breakdowns of players, 
Um, I'm breaking down these guys and showing, and you're more interested in the, in the instructional part of this channel. Make sure you are paying attention to me breaking down these players because you can learn something as far as what you guys need to do with your particular player that you want to help out with instruction. If it's yourself or if it's an, if it's a, a, your son or daughter, or if you're a coach and you need to um, learn some things about the swing, you can learn it here as well when I'm breaking down these guys. So what he does really well here is gets that little tiny inward hip tuck. And then right there, it's very subtle. And that, that brings and shifts the weight to the inner part of the back heel. And once he gets there, he goes ahead and advances the center extremely well. He's actually a little bit back of center. I love that. Again, he's not going to be overcommitted to breaking balls if he's there. He's going to be able to uh, differentiate strike from ball if he's there, which he does very, very well. The lower half starts to open up. The elbow slots perfectly. This is a very short, compact stroke. Um, he, Like I said, he's not going to have issues whatsoever with swinging and missing because of how short, compact, and slightly behind center he is, and then how flat this swing is as well. So he's and I, I do think he's going to get to some power with his ability to hit this ball and have that contact point out front. And then he just stays incredibly stacked. Look how stacked his head, his back, his left shoulder, his left hip, his left knee is. I tried to draw a circle there and I drew a line. So, and I'm highlighting the head here, how it stays behind the ball really, really well. He's going to be able to drive everything He's going to be able to drive balls to all fields. And then I am going to point out here as well how he stays through the ball super impressive, right? In the past, he used to really cut his swing off and go towards that window. And here, he does a great job. He has made this adjustment to stay through the baseball really, really well. Okay, let's stop that share. And we're going to go ahead and share the screen one more time because I am going to show you how fast this kid really is um and we're gonna we're gonna look at so he plays um baseball obviously in the spring but he also runs track for the racine horlick track team because he is an 80 runner again these guys do not grow on trees so <laughs> it's very rare ability so let's go ahead and share the screen again and watch this kid run Let's just, let's just, I won't even talk really. Yeah, I'll talk. It's hard to get me to shut, be quiet. So just take a look at the burst off the line and he just blows these guys away. Um, and I even talked to Tony Campana about him and his ability to uh, run the 100, 100 yard dash and Tony's best time. Tony Campana was an 80 runner, the fastest runner I've ever seen. And his best time was right around what TJ was in high school. And Tony said that TJ actually can be faster. Okay. He's not even used a, a running coach at all. And that's what he will get into once he gets into pro ball. Once he gets into college, he'll actually clean up that, that stride a little bit um, and even be faster. So that's TJ Williams, future major league player, without a doubt, in my opinion, again, because of number of reasons, but that 80 run tool, but also he's got a ton of skill. He can hit, he can defend, he can defend in multiple positions. And probably the most important thing, he's got the heart and the desire and the mindset. It's a confident kid um, who is a leader on the basketball team. He plays point guard and he um, runs that offense extremely well. I saw him play. And um, there's a, just a lot of qualities that I do see are going to translate into a major league player at some point for TJ Williams. So Heartland Community College um, turns 18 on April 24th of this year. So um, I think this is a player that scouts need to take a look at for sure. So TJ Williams, um, and we'll see you guys next time. Thanks.